What is up, y'all? It is Zotar, and welcome to another video. This time, I'll be telling you guys about the time I got jumped in my first fight. Pretty much my jump first fight. First fight jumped. Anyways, all right. In this video, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. This this is well, pretty much story time. But yeah, this. this oh man, there's a lot. So I used to take karate. That's what I'm gonna say right now. I used to take karate, so this is gonna be a key point later in the story. Uh, yeah, me, Jimmy, that's what I'm gonna name the kids, the two kids, Jimmy and Billy Bob. Jimmy's the one who's, you know, the most rambunctious out of all of us. He's the non-listener, yells with his parents. He's not white either. I'm surprised he didn't get his ass whooped. Cause you know, black people know black, uh, you know, black, black people kid, can uh you know you really you know relate to that shit you try to talk back to your parents you get an rko down a ravine that's, that's you done done so yeah uh me and my uh friends you know a lot I like to hang out we were all close and all that and all that other crap and this th there's this one night this is when my mom started letting me and my sister out uh Probably a little bit later, you know, the little rule of coming inside when the street lights are on, you know, that whole rule. But she started letting us stay uh, 10 minutes after because I was the oldest. And since I was the oldest, she started trusting me and all that. Like recently, I stayed home by myself for the first time in 18 years of my fucking existence on this earth. <laughs> the whole weekend I had to myself. And no, no, I didn't fuck no bitches. And I'm sorry. I'm scared. I, I thought I'm scared. I'm fucking, I'm fucking mad at that. But anyways yeah uh one night jimmy gets this bright idea now i'm gonna tell you billy bob loves okay th here's what he owns. he owns a um little mini dirt bike that's all i'm gonna say he owns a little mini dirt bike he loves that thing to death because we used to ride it everywhere in the neighborhood we always would like you know drive it around race each other on my other friend um let's call him p gonna call him pee not the fucking urination fucking nasty ass pieces of shit I'm talking about just the letter p because that's his nickname let's, let's just let's just do that youtube i think i'm allowed to do that right i hope so uh yeah so we uh, yeah we used to race around on those and all that crap and yeah so there's this one night where jimmy gets the bright idea bright idea to fucking, you know, take Billy Bob's uh, mini mini um, motorcycle. Yeah, he 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 gets this bright idea of fucking taking his motorcycle, and I'm like, and me being a nervous person, I was the smallest one in the group. I still am the smallest one in my group, actually. I'm five foot three and eight. And I'm in college. Five foot three, 18 years old, and I'm in college. That's something else. And uh, yeah, so he gets this bright idea of taking his shit, and I'm like, uh, bro, I, I don't even know if that's a good idea. I don't even know why you even come up with that idea. And I was, the, of course, the nervous one out of everyone, because I don't know, I just was. And, uh, myself, <laughs> my sister's with me, Jimmy was with me, and, uh, yeah, it was just a night of friends until that fucking idea came out. And then after that, we were like, I, just, I don't know if that's a good idea or not anymore. And, uh, this, J okay, Jimmy was like, okay, let's go to his house. So we went to, like, I still was skeptical about it. I was still nervous. I was, yeah, you know. Of course. So we still end up going to his house. We still ended up taking the bike. We took the bike and we all had turns. And when it was my turn, just started riding it down the street, went around one corner, and the fucking tire popped. I was already nervous enough that I'm stealing somebody else's shit without them knowing. And I'm already like, I was already a nervous wreck. Like, I was a nervous, I was the kid who's like, eh, I don't think we should do this. I don't think it's safe. I don't think it's. Uh, blah 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 and uh 
I ended up popping the tire, which made everything worse. Of course, so then after that, I fucking freaked out. I was like, oh my fucking god, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna get, go to jail, and they're gonna kill me. I'm gonna get booty raped. And they're gonna fucking stick a broom stick up my ass and call me daddy. I, I don't fucking know. Like, I didn't want to die. I didn't, I didn't want to go to jail. So I, like, quickly ran over, like, took the bike to his house, put it back where I was the best as I can, the way it was. And we just, like, dipped. We left the house. We ran home. So three days later, he comes to my house and was like, can you come outside? So I was like, yeah. Went to his house and his brothers were standing outside. And I was like, okay, his brothers don't ever come outside and, you know, hang out with us. So I was like, okay, maybe we're playing like football or something. And of course, like in the back of my mind, I was like, what if he's like thinking about like, you know, getting his brothers to fucking arrest me or something. I don't know. I'm fucking stupid. I thought I, I overthink. I think it was the ADHD or something because I, I got ADHD. Not yeah. So I was scared. At the same time, I was like, yeah, we're just friends. So he, you know, won't nothing happen. So then he says, I know you popped my tire. Jimmy told me. I was like, this nigga, really? Are you serious? What the? F you stupid son of a dingling head ass bitch has that's my fucking stupidness of a stupid oh my stupid stupid and I was so mad in my head I was but I didn't show it I was just still like I was like are you serious bro I was like I, I, I didn't officially steal it I wasn't the one who went in your garage and took it Jimmy took it and Billy Bob wasn't trying to hear that so he kept getting closer and his brothers like, you know, created a barrier. So I was like, what are they gonna do? Now I'd never been in a fight before, so I wouldn't have known the signs so quickly. But like, there's where the karate took in, like I said took in, came into place. He like got way too close to me. My fucking Mr. Miyagi teacher, <laughs> karate stu uh, te uh, master student teacher shit, told me if there's somebody who's like too close to you, back up and try to make space for yourself or just make space to yourself like push them away by using force but not as so much force as to make it seem like you're trying to like th threaten them or anything or just like make it to where you're trying to not like just tell them that you don't want to have any problems so i like pushed them and of course he took that uh, like exactly how I thought he probably would and fucking try to be he pushed me and try to hit me I don't know how I dodged it. I don't know how I Fucking got scared and I guess I flinched and fucking dodged the hit And He pushed me and then I was like No, so I'd use like you know how Jet Li does that little Whoa! Or like Blue Kang or something like that. I felt like I was on Mortal Kombat. You know how you do like the little fist palm thing? And he like pushed it. Like I did that. But I did it to his head. And he hit his head against the uh. This is Billy Bob. Billy Bob hit his head against the garage door. And he fell down. Hurting. And then. Uh, uh, I was about to say his name. Then um. Jimmy decided to be like, oh, okay, I guess this is my time to help my friend. I was like, you son of a dingling head ass bitch. You going, uh, you going to rat me out and then help this nigga? Are you serious? So the, this nigga actually helped him and pushed me. And then I tried to get back up and then they like tackled me, pushed me against the, uh, the garage door and then like smacked me around. And of course, in my first fight and I wasn't, I wasn't crying surprisingly. I was just like, I wasn't scared of anything. I just, my adrenaline was rushing and everything. So I, I didn't know what to, I didn't know what to expect. This was like actually a year before I started biting people in defense. So they're kind of lucky. And he pushed me against the garage and then I pushed him again. And then I, before he pushed me hard as shit into like some rocks, I didn't hit the, my head against the rocks. I didn't get hurt or anything. But I looked up and there was this lady looking at her out of her window seeing what's going on and I think she was about to say something but she I, I, she didn't So he pushed me hard as shit, but when I looked up at the lady I was like, what can I do to get these people in trouble? Like I'm a smart person. 
I strategize everything. Like people don't think I don't don't because how I act sometimes. Yes, I do act stupid, and I'm not gonna lie. I, I low key am, but uh, I'm not like I'm street smart. I'm like I I just do something. Like if I know how to survive, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. Like if I know there's something right that I have to do, I'm just basically saying I just thought out the whole thing in like within five seconds. I don't know how. Due to the fact I was eight years old, all of us were like eight and seven, and my sister that was six because she was a young, she's younger than me, and this, I hit my, I pretend to hit my head against the rocks, and the lady came running downstairs, and she's like, oh my god, what is going on, blah blah blah, and it was a white lady, so you're like, what are you doing? oh my god, what are you doing? I'm just kidding, I, every lady is like that in our neighborhood, <laughs> suburbs, so I'm not saying that shit, anyways. So she ends up walking me to my house because, you know, I got jumped and all that shit. And everybody was crying except for my sister who was sitting there smiling, bobbing her head like a fucking bobblehead. And shit, laughing and giggling. And everybody else except for me was just, I was with a straight face because I thought I was going to get in trouble. I was going to wait for my crying until I got to my mom, like, until my mom got dealt with me. I was going to save all, all my tears for the ass whooping I thought I was going to receive. But, uh, yeah. Everybody, like both of them, were like, I can't, I am sorry, I didn't mean to try, and I didn't want to hurt you. You just took my bike. I didn't want to. I'm sorry. And I was like, mm -mm. and in my head, I was actually laughing a little bit, but yeah. So my mom, they end up talking to my mom. They apologized to my mom and all that. And then after that, everyone went home. But yeah, that was the first time I ever got jumped. And letting y'all know, I don't, I'm not a fighter. I'm not a fighter. I don't fight now. I don't, like, you know, I don't like fighting. I don't think it's that, like, sometimes people fight over dumb stuff. Like, I used to be scared that if I went to high school, because most of my friends are females. So, I would, like, I would talk to females because that's, like, how I grew up. Like, I have mostly all sisters. And I was basically, I wasn't saying I'm raised only by my mom because my stepdad raised me too, but you know, he's in the Navy and he wasn't home a lot because he was out in deployment. So it was only really me and my sister, you know, and my aunt and grandma. So I'm, of course I'm going to be around, except for my uncle. Uh, yeah, so, and <laughs> I'm not really a fighter, y'all. I'm not really a fighter. I don't like fighting. I, I, like, I don't understand it. It doesn't make sense to me, to be honest. It's like, well, sometimes it makes sense if you really have to fight and I Like there's gonna be some times where you like really need to fight. There's sometimes where you like, you know you, you know got you guys will know what I'm trying to say um, Yeah, there's sometimes where you need to save your life. There's sometimes where you just need to fight Like for your girl or something like that and Just pretty much life-threatening situations. So yeah, me and my, it's, I said me and my friend, yeah, but I'm, me and my little bitch ass is not really a fighter, I don't like fighting, I wouldn't do it, I just, it was just that one time thing, I came close to fighting a couple of people cause, because of those stupid reasons, cause high school is just emotions and stupid people and popularity, in which based on me, I'm not that popular, but I know basically everyone in my school, high school, well, that were, went to my high school, yeah, so like I'm not really a fighter and I don't really fight. I hope not to fight anyone anytime soon. I hope not to get my ass whooped. I don't want to get my ass knocked out in front of my girlfriend, which would just make me feel like I'll let them take my girlfriend. No, I wouldn't. But <laughs> yeah, I'm rambling too much. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to zap that like button like you're mad at. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, actually. I hope you guys enjoyed my story. Probably not because I was stuttering a lot. I was babbling, but it, it was a first time for everything. Let me know if you guys want to hear more stories, because I have a lot of crazy stories that I really got want to tell you guys. And I think you guys will love to hear. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to zap that like button, like it matter, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel if you new. Oh yeah, here's a sneak peek to my next video. Peace. Hello, this is David shut up. From shut up. Yo, shut up. Xbox customer support. Hey, this nigga just cussed me out, bro, in Spanish. <laughs> to help us improve our quality of service, this call may be recorded or monitored.
We're currently handling a lot of calls, so you might need to wait over 15 minutes to speak with an agent. Bullshit! Instead of waiting on hold, <laughs> hang up. <laughs>